Hi, my name is Joe Parker and I'm an entomologist at Columbia University in New York. Now, ever since I was a teenager, I've been studying one of the largest groups of organisms on Earth. There are tens of thousands of species of these things. That's way more than all mammals and birds combined. The amazing thing is, very few people in the world have ever heard of these things, let alone seen them. They're a group of beetles called Salaphony. Most people have never seen them because they're only a couple of millimetres long. You can fit a bunch of specimens glued to cards with their data labels attached inside this little box. But if you hunt around in the forest floor, especially in tropical rainforests, you'll find that these things are everywhere, extremely abundant. But if you take them, put them under the microscope, you'll see that they're absolutely exquisite. They come in an almost endless range of different machine-like shapes and forms. They're just beautiful creatures, but they're also fascinating for their biology and lifestyles too. Salaphony are one of the few groups of organisms that have evolved the means to exploit ants. Any biologist will tell you that ants dominate the world's ecosystems and most insects are torn to pieces by them. But for many species of Salaphony, the ant colony is actually their home. Somehow, they've tricked the ants to accept or ignore them, so the beetles can feed on the eggs and brood inside the ant colony. Some of these ant exploiting species are so dependent on ants that their whole bodies have been modified for this lifestyle. They're blind, they've got no wings and they're even fed liquid food through highly modified mouth parts by the ants themselves. Now this is a vast fascinating section of life on earth that's basically been ignored for way too long and now I'm asking for your help to start exploring this group of organisms. For the past 10 years I've been collecting specimens from around the world extracting and sequencing their DNA to build the Salaphony tree of life. When you know how these species are related to each other and how and when they evolved, you can start to understand why they became so diverse. You can look at how aspects of their body form or chemistry might have enabled these beetles, as opposed to other insect groups, to become so successful at exploiting ants. I'm asking you to get involved to help me find species that are crucial for assembling the Salaphony tree of life. With your help, I'll travel to Satipo province in the Peruvian Amazon to search for these tiny elusive creatures, bring them back to New York where I'll sequence their DNA to see where they fit into the Salaphony evolutionary tree. Now, this work is important. It tells us how this massive group of organisms came into existence. So we can get a handle on what these beetles do, why they're so successful, how they've got one up on ants, and what function they might possibly serve in forest ecosystems. By far the majority of these species live in habitats that are under threat. So please understand, these beetles are tiny, but they're a gigantic chunk of life on Earth. With so few people working on them, they need all the help they can get. Thanks for taking an interest in this project.